Look, have you ever wondered, sat down and wondered to you, think to yourself, man, you know what? Life, it's kind of like a game. It's like this, it's like a simulation. How many people wonder that? That, you know, when I'm encountering these synchronicities and when I'm encountering different coincidences, is life really made like that? Because most of the stuff don't even make sense, you know? When I think something, then someone instantly calls me. Like, everything is connected. It's like, they tell me it's physical, right? That's what you're saying to yourself. They tell me in science books and they show me through school and through program and everything. Now, oh, you know, life is this way. You know, life is that way. Everything is material. It's physical. You got to work hard. You got to push ahead to get what you want, etc., etc. But how many of you have actually sat down and say, man, I, I hear that, but it just doesn't make sense. Well, I have news for you guys. You're on to something. Because what actually it is, it's a game within a game. Your life, all of this is one big simulation, like a holographic simulation. If you don't know this, let me show you. Matter of fact, all of us, from the cells in my body, it's all made of information. Information that goes in frequency waves. My brain transmit information through photons, through light. Your brain does that. Your thoughts, the inspiration you get, they don't come from the physical world. They come from outside. So let me put it in perspective. I'm going to use a video game to show you how analogous it is to your life and how you can master this game. So consider this. A video game, it has a program, it has a processor, and it characters. Look at you. In this world right now, you're a character. Information is streamed outside. You know, the information you get from your higher self or your mind, it doesn't come in from inside the video game. It's coming from outside. So like a video game, everything's happening inside the screen on the TV, right? But outside is the little box, the processor. It sends information in. Same thing with your thoughts. Everything you see out, you think it's coming from another dimension. How about a video game? What about, how's life analogous to a video game or a simulation game? Well, check this out. In the game, it has speed as a processor. It has certain rules and laws. So have you considered this? Look at our physical universe, the processing speed. You know what? Nothing can go faster than the speed of light. There's one of the rules of the game. So what I mean by simulation, I mean is that within what we call a physical context, our perception creates holographic movement images and through the way the structure is created, they look like they're moving and everything is all about movement and everything, etc., etc. But in actual reality, it's being projected from somewhere else. Even you, even you, every, I mean, you think about it, all of this is inside my head. Everything is inside your head. You project from inside out. It's more, that's like, it's like that process in speed. Now, all right, so how, what's the point of all this? What can this do for me in my life? Well, it can do a lot for you because if you just listen to what I just say, it's a game. What is a game? If you want to master this game, you cannot take anything serious. Nothing. It is, in this game, nothing is important. What, what makes things important to you is the personality we developed in this simulation through our ego. So if you want to master this game, you have to see everything in a state of neutrality. Nothing owns you. Nothing is bigger than you. Let me give an example. We're going to talk about, let's use money, for example. So I've been hearing a lot of individuals email me, say, Mark, have you read the book, Think and Grow Rich? Think and Grow Rich by, uh, I think, what, Napoleon Hill, right? So I finally went ahead and I read the book. And there was something fascinating that this, this author knew about this reality in this world. I'm going to show it to you right now that he picked up. Never in, in that book, they never mentioned in the entire book, money was never actually mentioned in the entire book. Think and grow rich, right? You think, okay, I think and grow rich, I need money to be rich, right? But something peculiar. Money was never mentioned in the book. Why was that? 
everything in the book was primarily about prosperity, abundance, you know, how to put forth the mindset, but never said anything about physical money, 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 money. So let me show you what's going on and I'll show you how the simulation works and how you can take advantage of it. All right. The first thing in this simulation is everything you're here for is an experience. That's it. You're going to experience love, happiness, joy, whatever you want to expect, struggle, force, importance. It's all about an experience. Your entire body is made for experiences. Subconscious processes 3 billion bits of information per second. Majority of it is senses that you can't detect. Nerve cells, picking up the environment, taste buds, etc. Seeing all this sensory input is coming from, coming from all over the place. It's all about the experience. So, when it comes to money, what do most people do with money when they want to make money? I'm going to show you how you can, you can make more money or be more abundant if you do it this way. What do they do? Here's what they say. Man, I got to make the money first. Let me focus on the money, then the life. Doesn't work that way in this game. The game isn't structured that way. The simulation isn't structured that way. Money was something that was created by the characters of the game, by us. The hard wiring of the game goes this way. Focus on the experience. For example, why don't you start focusing on the lifestyle? What lifestyle would you like to live? We know it takes money, so many people want to live an abundant, prosperous, good lifestyle. Maybe you want to drive a certain car, maybe you want to own a certain career, maybe you want to live in a certain house. So you have to focus on that lifestyle. The, by you focusing on the lifestyle, the money comes out on the back end. It's not the other way around. You don't focus on the money first, and then it becomes a lifestyle. Because the simulation is about an experience. Experience creates everything in this simulation. You have to see the experience. You have to visualize the experience. What would it look like to live this way? How would it make me feel to be this? What type of life would I like? What kind of car would I like to drive? That's That projects an experience. If, you, if the experience matches an abundant mindset, money will come in to match your lifestyle. But we've been doing it all wrong. We've been doing it backward. You're trying to focus on the money. And then that's why people struggle. And that's why they meet this thing. Because they're going against the code of the game. That's, I mean, that's simply how it is. And if you want to get technical, you want to get deeper. It's a game within the game now. We talk about the matrix. The false prism of reality of society. So when our society developed, human beings, we, we constructed the best way to interpret our game. Our reality so we make up words we give them meaning we give them importance we have success we have failure we have this and that but if you think about it none of it matters it's not none of it is important number one when you leave the game you can't take anything with you number two when you leave the game you come back you're going to be incarnated it's a cycle you're going to keep coming back death is an illusion all of that so what they do is they make this prism in the game they create religion they tell you about heaven and hell. They show you that this is it. And then, we, so you're being played a game within a game. But the truth of all of this is that there is none of that. It's all one big simulation. If you start to see that, well, why am I stressing about this? And I'm, the thing you're stressing about, the thing you're worrying about, doesn't really matter. It's not important. Now, I'm not telling you just forget your problems and just go haywire. That's not what I'm showing you. What I'm showing you here is a perception and perspective you have to adopt. Because once you do that, you now you release the resistance within the game. The game has rules, as I said. Another rule of the game, energy. We are all energy. We give off a frequency of vibration. So what's the interesting thing about energy? Energy moves, transmutes, shows from one form to the next. So when energy is moving from one form to the next, you either clear space, adopt space. And that's where we have resistance and we have allowance. So within the game, whenever you make anything more important or bigger than you or the experience or the desire to experience it, you create the resistance. That stops you from mastering the game. So you have to adopt the mentality. Like my, my, my motto is, it is what it is. And I adopt the mentality to know that I'm in the game and I'm having fun within the game. So I'm playing the game the way the game is constructed. I understand that this is all a simulation. My physical body looks physical to me because the perception of my brain, I understand how the, work, the, the, the reality works from a molecular to a, to a quantum level, even beyond the quantum level. And I see how things come in as information 
And everything is just that order. And the synchronicities and the, what you call coincidence, when you dream and see something and it happens, it's all a part of the program of this game, this, this simulation game. Now, who's controlling this game? Well, I believe it's your higher self, the higher version of you. So you're like in the game and he's outside, he or she's outside and they're projecting your program, what you selected you wanted to do, what you want to experience. But within the game, we have this illusion of what we call free will. You can go and do what you want to do. But again, it's still a game. And with every game, there are certain rules within the game. And if you know the rules and you've played by the rules, then you shall master the game. See that? A lot of people don't know the rules. So that's why they, they're able to be in a game within a game. Because the people who created this or this matrix, they know the rules. But they don't want you to know the rules. Because if you do know the rules, you'll master the game. So now I'm showing you the rules. So let me review. Biggest rule. Nothing. Don't take anything important. Nothing's beyond you. What's the next rule? When it comes to money or abundance, focus on the lifestyle, not the money. The lifestyle will create the money. Characters, we invented money. It's part of us. So it's connected. So when we go for a lifestyle, it has to trail behind us. See that? So in that book, Think and Grow Rich, he, he knew something. He knew that, whoa, this is actually a simulation. It's all about experiencing. Focusing your mindset on that. See that? So that is something many people don't even understand. They walk around every day and you see they're going through life and they're taking things serious. They're worrying, fretting, struggling. But in the reality, none of it matters. Change your perception. Change your perspective. Understand that you are in a simulation. That you can control all the things through the, through the mind, through the emotions, through the talking, through the perception. And once you see that, a whole new op way open up. Target the subconscious. There you have it. So now you know how to master this game within this game of a simulation. Thanks, guys.